the Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, NCC, sorry, Professor Omar Dambata, says Nigeria needs $1 billion to bridge the shortfall in telecom services in the country. He said this during a public telecom service hearing in Abuja on Monday. Plus TV News, Emmanuel Ihejene report is presented from our studio. As Nigeria continues to battle the shortfall in availability and affordability of telecom services, House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee commenced investigation into the availability and usage of mobile telecommunications activities throughout the country. The Executive Vice Chairman, NCC, Professor Umar Dambata, in his submission before the committee, says 667 billion naira, an equivalent of $1 billion, is required to quickly bridge the gap in parts of the country where there is no access to telecom services. Professor Dambata further stated that a study by the Commission to identify cluster of telecom services in the country observed that 37 million Nigerians could not have access in rural, served and unserved areas in the country. He said the Commission has, however, been able to reduce this number to 27 million Nigerians in 2022 after the deployment of the necessary telecom infrastructure, though not desirable. Indicated additional things we have done to be able to bridge these gaps. And, and given an analysis of the amount of money that will be required to completely bridge the 97 clusters of access gaps in the country. He urged the federal government to declare a state of emergency in the sector to enable all Nigerians living in every part of the country to have access to telecom service and not be left out. Arising from the deterioration of the exchange rate of the Naira to the dollar, we have a figure of close to 700 billion Naira is the total amount required to completely bridge you know, gaps within the clusters that I have stated earlier. Earlier, in his keynote address, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, who was represented by the Deputy Chief Whip of the House, Honorable Inkiruka Oye Jocha, described the telecommunications industry as the largest sector in the information and telecommunications sector critical to national development. He advised that the sector should not only be concentrated within the urban areas but also amongst rural dwellers. The Nigerian Communications Commission, as the independent regulatory authority to the telecommunications industry, needs to live up to its expectation and create an enabling environment as well as ensure the provision of qualitative and efficient telecommunications service delivery throughout Nigeria and not some specific areas as what we experience today. On his part, the chairman of the Ad development, security and poverty elevation. He says Nigeria should not be lacking behind due to the numerous opportunities present in the telecommunication sector. One of the major drivers of uh, poverty eradication or elevation is communication access, telecommunication access, internet access to the populace. The House of Representatives is committed to getting to the root of all bottlenecks or hindrances which may have made it impossible for us to attain desired targets until now. And I want to assure you, Mr. Speaker, that we're going to do a thorough job in line with the mandate which the House has given to us and turning our report in due course. The hearing is expected to last for three days where salient issues and the telecoms is expected to be discussed with a view of finding a lasting solutions to them.